Sounds good. Well, the snowpack in the western U.S. melted at a record pace last month, and the snow was melting fast, so fast in our area as well, until the end of the month when temperatures dropped. As Paul Nelson shows us, the latest storm is bringing the snowpack level and water content back up. Here we are in May, and avalanche control is still happening along the Mount Rose Highway. The added snowfall is good for a variety of reasons, including sledding. It's a lot of fun. It's my cousin's first time. She's traveling, so I said, hey, let's take her out to the snow and have a good time. It's also improving our snowpack numbers. The runoff was expected to peak in early April, but we still haven't reached the peak thanks to the weather. Part of that is because we're getting a little bit of new accumulation, but a lot of it is we're just not melting as fast as we normally would this time of year. The snow has already melted at some sites in the Tahoe and Truckee basins, but others still have up to double the snow and water content than normal, and the rain can affect the snowpack in other ways. It depends on how thick that snowpack is at that spot. It can absorb some of the rain. It'll, sometimes the rain will just pass through the snow. Sometimes it'll melt it off, depending on temperatures and how thick the snow is. But that, you know what, that's all right. We'll take whatever we can get. This storm system's been huge for Lake Tahoe, with rain falling directly onto the lake, plus the runoff coming into it. Now, in the last three days, the water levels have come up more than an inch, with more expected. Last year, the lake barely made it to its natural rim, and this year, it's already a half a foot above. There's potentially going to have, you know, two to three more inches in the next couple days, so it just couldn't, couldn't be better. Blanchard says the lake could possibly rise another foot by the end of the runoff season. What the new precip does is just kind of saturates the system and will make whatever snows left up there more efficient as it melts and we'll get more out of it. The Truckee River has a brown tint and extra debris, showing the effect of the rain and runoff. Flows are normal but could increase. If we get some convective thunderstorms upstream from here, the river's going to rise and possibly dramatically. It just depends on what happens with the rain and where it sets up and how much. Covering Stormwatch, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. And please remember, you can keep track of the weather wherever you are with our free Channel 2 weather app. You can get the radar, forecast, watches, and warnings on your mobile device and customize it to where you live. Just search KTVN in the Google Play or Apple Store.